Hi guys, I am Alvin from Bush All Night Vision. I would like to introduce you the second version of Bush All Night Vision Scope in V8. We add Starlight Night Vision function on the device. I also shot an unbox video so that you can know what are included in the package. The function of the NV8 Night Vision is still under improvement, but the outlook is fixed now. If you choose the option with battery and micro SD card, the package will include the main unit of the night vision camera of course, a fast clip-on night vision camera connector, a Picatinny rail mount, a battery charger and an ally key and two sealing rubber rings in one poly bag. The 18650 battery is packed in battery compartment of the night vision device and the micro SD card is inserted in the TF card slot. Now let's assemble the fast clip-on adapter and the Picatinny rail mount together. We have to take out the screw on the adapter first, and then fix the Picatinny rail mount on the adapter. You can see, there is a notch on one side of the adapter, at the side that connects the night vision camera. So, the Picatinny rail mount should be installed on the other side, otherwise, you will find that you are unable to attach the night vision camera on the connector later on. The Picatinny rail mount is designed to fit both 20mm Picatinny rail and 11mm Picatinny rail, or, let's say between 11mm to 20mm. Now let's turn on the night vision camera. An insula insulation foil is put in the cap of the battery compartment to avoid camera power on by accidents during transportation, so we should take it out first. Short press the power button to turn on the night vision device. There is a torus on the night vision camera to catch the notch on the adapter. Twist it around 45 degrees till you hear a click. Then it is locked. Then it is very easy to fix on your rifle. To take off the camera, you should press and hold the fixing button on the camera and twist the adapter. Now let's do the field testing. We have hanged a Bushall logo on the tree in around 70 yards, size of the logo around 50 centimeters. Let's turn on the night vision camera. We have preset the adjustable diopter lens. The diopter lens in front of the screen is adjustable. Now how you know it is on the right position? It is easy. 
If the icons, for example, the micro SD card icon, 1080p icon, microphone and battery icon are sharp, then it is good. If they are blur, please rotate the diopter lens till they are clear. Let's take a picture and record video. We tested it in similar distance we just now. So, the focus of the camera seems okay. Anyway, let's adjusted the internal focus ring of the night vision camera to get better view. Let me show you the footage Bush Owl NV8 recorded, I have derived it from the micro SD card to my computer. You can see the video is much clearer than what is on the screen, the screen looks a little grainy because it is just 390 multiply 390 pixels, it is just enough for aiming a rabbit, a hog, a coyote, or a deer. Boo the video at records is with 1920 multiply 1080 pixels, it is quite good. By the way, the video is with sound recording unless you turn the microphone off by the menu. Let me show you the digital zoom function, now I press the plus button on the camera, zoom 2 times, 3 times, 4 times. Now the minus button, three times, two times, and one time. Now I will show you the default setting from our factory. There are three key points to be set, the exposure, the contrast and the LCD brightness. The exposure is set to be minus one. Contrast almost the maximum. and screen brightness 50%. It is set for day vision. For night vision, we may have to change the setting to get best image. Now we are standing on the same position in daytime. It is a moonlight night. The red color reticle means the camera is in day vision mode. Day vision mode is also the starlight mode. It means you can see in certain distance without IR light assistance. It does not focus yet, so let's rotate the internal focus ring on the camera to get best result. It is still unable to see. Let's adjust the three keys. Exposure to maximum, that is plus two. Contrast is already almost on maximum, don't need to set again. Screen brightness to 75%. Okay, you can see in darkness now. But the ISO is too big. There is a lot of noise on the screen.
Oh, it is even worse after zoom in. This starlight vision should be improved in next step. We keep improving it. Now let me long press the IR button to change to night mode. The crosshairs turn green when night mode is activated. Short press to go to IR level 1, level 2, and level 3. In 70 yards, it needs level 3. By the way, the intensity of the IR light is adjustable by pull out or push in the head of the built-in IR illuminator. Pull out to focus the IR light for long distance view, that is higher intensity IR light, means brighter but it lights smaller area. Push in to diffuse the IR light for short distance view, that is lower intensity IR light, means dimmer but it lights bigger area. For 70 yards, IR level 3, push in, it is just fine. Okay, it is all for today. Thank you very much for watching our video. If you are interested in this video, please hit the thumb up button and subscribe our channel. Although our channel is new, we will keep publishing many night vision testing videos and other interesting videos for you. And you are welcome to leave your valuable comments. If you are interested in our product, Please feel free to add my WhatsApp 8618118769231 to get coupon and order from our official website www.bushol.com. If you want to be our distributor, please feel free to send us email, our email address is info at bushol.com. Bye now.